Yeah, he's saying go, 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 go. go. Right. Shop channel. I am John We're here with Jeremy doing a very special unboxing. You know why? Because that's what we do. It is something big. This is the ultimate Tony Rice guitar clone shootout. Of the things that uh, when I finally saw the picture that I was most impressed with, this sunburst. This looks original. It looks right. If enjoy it. This is Alan Bybee in Grasstown. Uh, my name is Alec Beshin. I took that idea, kind of built on it layer by layer. It kind of sounded like and reminded me of some of my influences, so I called the song Borrowed. Hey guys, it is New Guitar Thursday. Glad to be with you on Thursday. It has been a weird day today. Welcome back. It's Takeover Tuesday. I'm so happy to have you back here at the acoustic shop. Mask on! Wait, is that the code? Yeah. Code for... What? Guys, welcome back to the Acoustic Shop. It's me, Jackson. It's my Takeover Tuesday. It is Tuesday. We weren't here yesterday. We weren't open. We had a long weekend. We all had a good weekend. It was great. It was great. I hope you guys had a great weekend, too. Happy to be back though, and we've got some new stuff to talk about. I just clapped right into the microphone. I'm really sorry about that if that was really loud. So um, we've got some cool new stuff to talk about, guys. Um, we are talking picks. Again, I know I've talked about picks a lot, but guys, we have a brand new pick company to show off. This is Tone Slab. 
Now, you pick nerds have heard about Tone Slabs before. Now, I said that in a negative way, but that is not a negative thing, guys. You guys are our favorites because we carry so many different types of picks because there's so many different types of players out there. And um, what I love about Tone Slab is this is, this is a new company that has uh, put together this formula for a really, really fantastic sounding guitar pick. And I will be honest with you, I was a little skeptical looking at these. Um, you know, these are very, um, you know, acrylic looking. And uh, to me, I think that acrylic um, can, can kind of go both ways. You know, you, there are some awesome acrylic companies out there, you know, and I think that they all do a great job. And I think acrylic picks work for a lot of people. I think maybe the one caveat I have with it is, I'm gonna see if I can make a, make a demonstration here. Nope, it doesn't work on this one. I might not have any up here, that maybe this one. Nope. So, okay, with, with some picks you get kind of a chirp sound with um, when you attack that pick with, or when you attack that string with the pick, um, sometimes if you have a very glassy, uh, glossy type of pick, sometimes that initial uh, contact with the string can result in a very high pitched, high frequency chirp that comes through the string. And I'll be honest, a lot of times you just won't notice it. You know, it's so quick. It's so fast, you just don't even notice it, to be honest with you. And even then, I probably did it a couple of times, and I didn't even notice it still. Um, but I think when you start getting into picks and different pick materials, different pick shapes, and you start really taking a deep dive into all of this, um, you start to realize what materials sound a very certain way. Some materials might have a darker tone, um, and come through just a little bit more muted, um, and some of them might be quite a bit brighter and give you kind of a little bit more of a uh, glassier sound. Um, so, along those lines, I have here uh, our first run of Tone Slabs along with all of the picks that were in my pocket, uh, along with a couple of picks that were just up here on the front desk. So I have a very odd assortment of picks here, guys. And uh, I wanna just go through them. I only have a couple here that I can open um, and try out. But guys, I have to tell you, um, as a pick nerd, which I am, I, I definitely consider myself to be a complete geek when it comes to these things. Um, I have been through all, almost all the picks, unless I've just not heard of the company, I've probably tried picks from just about everyone. And, um, you know, there are a lot of companies that say that they are getting really close to that tortoise shell sound. And we, we tried these. We tried these against a lot of different types of picks, a lot of different materials. And I gotta say, I don't think that it sounds exactly like tortoise shell. I don't think anything is going to sound exactly like tortoise shell, but it is quite close. I have to say, it is very close. I think I think we all tried it here. I think me, Corey, Tyler, I think you tried it too, right, Trent? Did you? Um, we all tried it, and I think we all agree that it sounds very close. Corey's got one. Corey bought one. Tyler's got one too. He was he offered his up um, for me to try, but it's too big. Tyler plays with picks that are way too big. No. They're just too big. They're too big, Tyler. Get out of here with your big old picks, no. Oh, uh, did you get that? <laughs> okay, oh, my bad, my bad. I, here I am completely throwing him under the bus. He bought the tweener, that's the tweener, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry to all of Tyler's fans out there too. I did not mean to throw him under the bus. No, so um, he's got the tweener. Wow, what you got there, Corey? Corey's just out here just casually uncasing these really nice bourgeois guitars, no big deal. It's just something we do here at the shop. We just get out these really nice guitars every once in a while. Um, but no, back on track, guys. We're talking about picks. We're not talking about uh, the lovely guitars that we're getting from bourgeois. P.S. The touchstone is on the floor right now. I didn't say that. Um, anyway, so uh, back on track here. I will say we all tried these, and they are very, very close. I, was, I thought that these were going to have... Um, a pick chirp, as I was talking about before. I kind of, 
uh, formulated my own opinion about these picks uh, way before they came in. And I have to tell you, I am blown away. I am absolutely blown away by how these picks sound and feel. I think that they feel phenomenal. And I'll be honest with you, it's gonna be hard for me to really show you how they sound. I have all these picks up here and I can strum and play a lot of different things on, on this awesome Ferk uh, vintage one that I have here in Mahogany. Um, but really, it's going to take more to get a really, really consistent, good tone demo out of these. I'm gonna do my best, but uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't think it's gonna come through, uh, the, you know, just the microphone that I have. I think it's gonna take some, uh, a much more controlled environment uh, to really test this out and to, and to tell you guys like exactly the type of EQ that these have. Now, I'm gonna start with, this is my favorite pick. This is a cool pick in uh, Delrin. It's a heavy, it's a jazz shape. Uh, I have, <laughs> you can set it next to a newer one here. I've really worn this down quite a bit. It's quite a bit smaller than it used to be. Uh, so I've really worn this down. So this is one of my fa this is one of my favorite picks that I own, and it's one that I'm very comfortable playing. Okay. So just quick, easy strumming. Now I'm gonna switch to the blue chip that I bought in the same shape. This is the. Uh, blue chip jazz in a 60, uh, trying to basically just trying to recreate my favorite pick, you know. So even there, I don't I don't think my playing was quite as consistent as the first time. Um, but I think that there is just a slight bit of a deeper tone that I get out of the blue chip in, in, in person, you know? Again, it's, it's really hard for me to probably convey all of the differences that you hear from these picks when you're playing guitar. A lot of it is a feel thing too, you know? And I will say the blue chips, there's a reason why they're so expensive, guys. They feel great and they sound great. It glides across the strings very well, sticks to your fingers perfectly, doesn't feel grimy, doesn't feel greasy. It's a great, it's a fantastic pick. It's not even just a great pick, it's a fantastic pick. Now the Tone Slab, just a quick, quick reference here. I'm gonna do a couple strums with the blue chip because I talked a bunch. <laughs> All right, now we're going to the Tone Slab here. I don't know, a little bit brighter? Tiny bit brighter, maybe? It's, again, it's, it's, it's hard to convey that. Um, uh, doing a pick comparison for a, tone, for a, a Takeover Tuesday, um, not, not the best environment to really tell you guys exactly the differences in sound, but I do think that tone slabs kind of sit in between, where, um, where the blue chips might be just a tad bit darker overall, but a, but a lot of depth in sound. I think the tone slabs kind of bring back that brightness without taking away the depth, if that makes sense. I think that's a good way to put it, maybe. I think, I think blue chips uh, get rid of a lot of pick noise. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. I think blue chips get rid of a lot of pick noise, which is a really valuable uh, thing to have in a pick yes. if that's what you're looking for. But there's a certain pick noise that isn't bad. Mm -hmm. And that pick noise that is like with the, uh, the tortoise shells, mm -hmm. I think this mimics uh, artificially some of those characteristics. Um, and I really, really like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, good feel. Um, however, if you, are, if you do like that kind of warmer... Um, uh, type of blue chip sound, then I think that you should stick with that. Yeah, you know, I think, too. I think, you know, that's a, that, I'm really glad you weighed in, Corey, because that's a really good way to put it. I think that, um, even still, there are so many different types of picks out there. And there's a perfect one for you. I mean, we got, a, we got a whole wall of them up here. We've, we've got Wiegands, they're made out of Kevlar. 
and that's not my favorite pick material, but it's a lot of fun to play with. It's a, it's a very durable pick. Gosh, if you wash it, it's going to be fine, guys. You're going to be fine. Now, if you buy a Red Bear pick, uh, don't wash it because you'll ruin it, and that's a very expensive pick, and you will ruin that pick. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. Um, but there's a lot of different pick companies out there, and I think that as uh, musicians, uh, we are pretty much constantly on a tone journey. You know, we are we are constantly looking for something that's going to make us sound better, right? And one of the ways that you do that is by changing strings, changing guitars, changing picks. Change the tools that you use to play the guitar in order to make a different sound, right? I think that that's, uh, you know, typically a good rule of thumb is, you know, if you're not, if something doesn't sound quite right, change something. Try something else, you know. And, um, you know, for comparison here, I have this Dunlop Gloss Flow Pick that just came to me. Now this is, I, I want to say this is very much like the Prime Tones. This feels like, this feels like Prime Tone material, but just in a very glossy, uh, I guess, uh, buffed out uh, feel, you know? And these, let's have a listen. <laughs> So right there, like, again, I don't know how much of that's coming through the microphone, but I can tell you that in person, I felt it. I, I felt that there was just a tiny bit of, not necessarily chirp, but there is kind of a different feel with a very glossy, almost glass feeling acrylic type of pick, you know? There is a different tone that comes out of it. Um, and I think that the tone slabs are the perfect medium in feel, in look. They look cool. Honestly, that's all. That's already a big thing. Oh, do we have some? Do we have, have a question? question? Oh, Keegan has a question. Why, Hit me, Keegan. Why tone slabs? Why do we have them now? Well, a bunch of talk about them on the forums, but why did we decide to get them in? Well, did we reach out to them? I think I think we reached out to them, right? John John's known the owner for a while. I think they went back quite a ways, and they were Sullivan. they um, so through Sullivan, right? I think is is where they knew them originally. So you know a little bit of backstory. John and the owner of this company, I believe, have gone back for quite a ways, and uh, they pitched to them like, "Hey, send us your favorite pick. Send send us literally your favorite pick in the world." And we want to make a uh, we want to make a match of it with our material, and make a shape close to what you have, because I want you to try it. And they sent they sent Jeremy and they sent John a couple of picks to try out, and that's where we got our first impressions with them too. They sent us a couple of demos, and we were so blown away by them. We ordered them as soon as they were available. In fact, I'm sure they had talked about it beforehand about ordering them and how many they were going to order. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where, again, um, we have sometimes companies reach out to us to demo some things. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work, you know? And I think it's up to us to be extremely honest with ourselves and our opinions of why we think this is a good fit for our store. And I think this is the perfect fit for our store. For you people out there that are looking for extremely high quality picks, um, you're looking for something uh, that is blue chip uh, tier material, you know, but not quite the blue chip sound. Um, I think this is going to be the next step for you, you know? Um, definitely not replacing blue chips, definitely not um, replacing anything. It's just adding to our arsenal of tools and implements for you guys to make the sound that you want to make. And um, as far as I know, that's, that's about as deep as the story goes, really. What's the but, price point on them? So these, these are $45 a piece. Now, that's... That's fairly steep, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, again, blue chips, they're right at about 40 bucks. I have to say though, the quality of these picks, I mean, it sounds salesy. Like I, 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 don't, I don't wanna sound like I am really trying to sell this to you guys. I'm serious when I say that these are some of the best picks that I have ever played. Even when John and Jeremy got those, temp, those demos, we sat down with them and I, 
I, I had this idea in my head that they were going to be very chirpy, that they were going to just sound like a lot of other acrylic picks that I've tried before. And these are not acrylic picks. These look like acrylic picks, but they are not. They do not sound like acrylic picks. They do not feel like acrylic picks. They are their own. I have, I have never quite played a pick that feels and sounds like this. Um, or looks like this. I've played a lot of picks that look like this, but they, they don't they don't sound like this, you know what I mean? Um, and like this, uh, this flow, this glossy flow that uh, Dunlop sent over, I just now tried these today. I'm quite a fan of them. I'm very open-minded when it comes to picks. I love, Delrin's like my favorite material just because it's inexpensive and it just sounds good. It sounds quite good to me, you know, especially, um, you know, just the way that a pick reacts to strings, I think is a very important thing. You know, you gotta find the one that fits you the best, the one that you're most comfortable holding and manipulating because you are manipulating those strings with your pick. That's, that, is, that is the whole thing there. So if you get the right tool to make the right sound, great. And I, and I hope it's the tone slabs. I hope it's the blue chips. And if it's not, we've got a ton of other picks to shill out to you, man. I'll sell you whatever you want. No, I'm, jo I'm joking, for real. I am very, very impressed with these picks. All jokes aside, I, I, I didn't want to love these picks uh, because they're expensive and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on one pick, but now it does seem like I'm probably going to because I I just love them. I, again, it's gonna be hard to really convey the feel, but... When you angle it too, get a nice warm roll off there. Oh yeah, you can do what Corey did and pair it with the bikini. I don't know if you guys know about the bikini yet. This is a new thing from Dr. Herringbone. This is a brand new thing. Corey's gonna show it off to you there. Look at that. It looks like your pick's wearing a bikini. What? That's crazy. Anyway, I am I to sum up guys, okay, you guys out there that really love, that really, really love the blue chips. I am highly recommending you check out these Tone Slabs. Now, we are going to have a ton of different uh, shapes. Go through the shapes just real quick because I didn't even do that yet. We have the traditional teardrop. This is just what our first run of them. They've got a bunch of different shapes here, guys, but just to run through them real quick. We got traditional teardrop. This is what they call a tweener. And you can think of it kind of in between like a teardrop and like a large, you know, tri-pick. But this is their tweener, um, and I guess they, uh, they that's, just, that's just regular old tweener. And then you get the tweener round, obviously rounded corners there. You have the tri-corner pick, that is the larger version of the tweener. You can see there, they're quite a bit larger. So if you're, think, so if you're thinking like a TAD or like a CT55, this would be that shape right here. And then uh, we have the tri-corner round. Now to give you a little bit of, uh, I have an STP60 here, and that next to a tweener, quite a bit smaller. So I think what, let's see, that would be kind of like a little bit smaller than a TP, maybe? I can't remember, let's see. Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. So we got TPR, you got a TP? Let's see. Where we got, we got TPs in here. So, TPR, let's see how that kind of, let's see. That's about the same size. So you can think of, you can think of the tweeners as kind of like the TP type shape if you're familiar with blue chips and their sizes. You can think of it that way. Um, and we have plenty more. They have quite a few different um, shapes sizes, gauges, they have lots of different types uh, that we're gonna be getting in. We just received more today. Uh, they have the 07s, the 08s, very much like the uh, 208 Jazz Picks, the 207, 208 Jazz Picks from Dunlop. Um, so they're making a lot of different types of, uh, you know, di different shapes for different people, you know. Um, again, you blue chip lovers out there and people who really like the, the high-end picks, these are definitely something to try out. 
And if you're in the area, we're gonna have some that are packaged upside down. You get to try them in the store. That's free of charge. We'll let you rent one for like 10 bucks a day. That's fair. I think so. I think that's fair. You charged me 20 yesterday. Yeah, well, they weren't out yet. No. You got you got special privileges. Keegan's over here complaining that I charged him 20 bucks to rent these picks. That's ridiculous. They weren't even out yet, dude. We didn't even receive them yet. You got special privileges. Come on, man. Jeez, ah, social media guys, really? <laughs> no, but uh, guys, I just want to say real quick, uh, really appreciate all of you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. I want to say a big thank you to uh, Jeremy Shepard, who came by last week, uh, did a lot of hanging out with him. I'm very excited for the content to roll out with him. We're going to have content on, on our end too, so uh, just... Tune in, make sure you're following, make sure you're subscribed to check out all the stuff we got going on. Uh, we have Shop Talk tomorrow. We do. We got Shop Talk tomorrow, guys. All the bourgeois stuff is coming out. All the bourgeois stuff is coming in and coming out very soon. Yep. So I'm sure that uh, John's going to do a lot of updating on that probably we tomorrow. Have an Eastman shipment on the way. Ooh, we do have an Eastman shipment on the way. We got we got some we got some cool new stuff coming in, guys. I think I, I think I did hear some E40 00s might be on there. I think I did hear that. So, I know a lot of you guys have been calling. I'm going to put this in here before I lose it. God, I hope I really don't. Huh? Oh, what's this you say? Oh, it's just a pick pouch. It's a it's a the Chapman's never heard of them. Acoustic shop. Uh, pick pouch and we got them right here guys they're available and what better way to keep track of all your picks than a pick pouch or a bikini I I prefer the pick pouch I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> the bikini is an is a is an interesting idea it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a cool thing but we do have several options for you guys to keep track of your picks Especially these expensive ones because they are phenomenal. You don't want to lose them. I don't want you to lose them. Please don't lose your picks, guys, because it's, I don't I don't know what to tell you. you you're just going to have to buy another one, man. Yeah, that's a bummer, man. I thought I – I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought I lost my STP-60 uh, in May. I haven't, I haven't had that pick since May. We went on a float trip on Saturday, found it in my shorts pocket of my swim trunks that I – I don't know. They've just been in there for a long time. So I found it. What was the first thing I did? I popped it right in this pick pouch. Boom. Both blue chips right there ready to go. You know what else I'm going to add to the list, though? This guy right here. I don't have to pay for this, do I? No. no. Okay. Keegan said I didn't have to pay for this. So, boom. What a great one to add to the collection. Boom. Sealed the deal. All right. I'm going to let Trent ring me up here, so he's going to have to get off camera. But, guys, thank you again for tuning in. Be sure to check out uh, Shop Talk tomorrow. we got New Guitar Thursday coming up as well. Make sure you're following us, subscribed. You see all the new stuff as it comes out. Um, and, yeah, like I said, we've got lots of cool content rolling out soon, too. We still got bourgeois stuff to talk about. We got Jeremy uh, Shepard stuff to talk about. All that content's going to roll out soon. Love y'all. Have a great rest of your day. Have a good one. See you guys.